And, and you're with? Poor Magazine, we're a poor people-led media organization. Poor Magazine? Poor, P-O-O-R, yeah. I, I'll, I'll wait, I'll let um, the secretary speak for himself, thank you. Right, well, but you as one of the people involved in this can say why we're here, like this location. What is, what is significant about this place? I'll, I'll let the secretary speak for himself. For okay, sure. who, who are you, what is your name? Are you press secretary? No, I'm not. The press secretary is in, indoors. Can they come out, please? Not at this time, but thank you. Okay, well, you just gave the other man your card, so... He's, he's a member of the press that I recognize. So are we. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know you. I don't know your publication. Well, you didn't know his publication, and you gave no, him a I, card. I, no, like, for real, though. It's, it's, it's nice to meet you. I'm Ed. What's your name? Uh-huh. My name is Tiny. Nice well, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Um, but that's really all the information I have for you. Okay. Well, then, essentially, you're, you're covering up the information from a poor people-led media. All of us who do Poor Magazine are folks who have been homeless and caused homelessness by homeless. a lot of the policies. Oh, yeah. For how long? Uh, last three years, actually, because of, partly go? because of the stay? RAD program. Where do you stay? Uh, right now, wherever we can. Wherever we city? can, because in the city they sweep and how, how people has rad, up. How has RAD caused uh, Because it caused the end of public housing as we know it, and it said that many of the... But how? How? Oh, well, you, didn't, you don't know? No, no, no. How, how does a program that preserve affordable housing cause someone to be homeless? Okay, so that's not what it does. Actually, what it does is change housing that was for the very poorest people into mixed income housing. And in that process, literally hundreds of thousands of people ended up A, having their buildings demolished and being given a Section 8 certificate that nobody can use. Nobody accepts those anymore, number one. Or number two... And you know uh, that. How do you know Oh, that? because it's actual work that our you organization have, did, have you done. Were denied a Section 8? Oh, multiple yeah. times. Multiple times. I don't know if you know the housing market in California. I, I live here. Okay, so you don't maybe know how hard it is to get a landlord to agree to even accept a Section 8 certificate, number one. And then number two, with the quote-unquote public buildings that used to be in place, they no longer... Uh, allow you to move in without, you know, rigorous, extensive uh, credit checks and a whole series of punitive, you know, policies that make it impossible for poor people to have family members who've had dealings with, you know, the injustice system, etc., to end up on the street. So this is, these are real ways in which people don't talk about, but buildings like this Aren't impo- are actually very hard for a lot of poor people to get in. That's why I was curious, like, why here? Is this considered a model of what, was, what worked? Because for a lot of us, it didn't. I work with a lot of folks who are on the street mm-hmm. who couldn't get into well, places like this. I'd be like happy this. to talk with you yeah, more about you this. Lori? Sure. I'm sorry. No, I Is haven't. this the press secretary? Or? Here, I'm happy to talk with you. All right. Thank you. At a later date, because this okay. is probably an inconvenient time for me but I'm, I'm, I'm okay. and I mean it I'm sincere All right. about we'll that. give you a call for sure um, I don't know if you'd be willing to do an interview too because we do media and we're trying to educate folks well we can talk about that okay. as I, you know, All right. as I learn more about what your work okay. is because I'm very much committed to ending homelessness so. okay great great I appreciate that Hi, how's it going so I guess we're waiting for the secretary right now or that's what's happening or the Mr. No, Carson? I guess what's happening is this. Well, I know that. And is, and is Mr. Carson expected, or what's going to happen? Um, at this point, we're waiting to see um, what happens next, because I'm not certain. Okay. So you don't know when he's supposed to get here. Okay. Thank you. No.